I'm sure that most people who use computers have heard the term cloud, but many may not know exactly how cloud storage works. In simple terms, cloud storage is basically anything online that is stored on remote servers. Anyone can store their files online, which can then be synced and accessed anywhere internet is available with computers and internet-capable mobile devices. Using cloud storage and sync can make life a lot easier for many people as it takes the work out of keeping files in sync at multiple locations while creating a backup in case of a failure of a device. For example, you could be working on a project at work, save it to the cloud, and when you get home it is waiting for you on your computer. Or if along the way you ran into a colleague who is interested in your project, you could pull out your mobile device and show them the same file you were just working on. In the past few years, multiple services have emerged offering cloud storage and sync, but it can be hard to choose which one is best suited for each individual's needs. In this presentation, I will give a brief overview of the technology behind cloud services, and I will compare the prices and features of the most popular services which offer competing features. The services I will review are Google Drive, SkyDrive, Dropbox, and SugarSync. Cloud storage services have been available since around 2002, but not until the last few years have there been so many options available. The availability of high-speed internet access has become more universal throughout modern society, which has brought on a push to move data into the cloud. In the past, we were forced to use floppy disks, jump drives, and other removable data to transport information. But cloud storage has enabled people to use remote servers to store their personal and business information. These servers act as the removable media of the past, but make the data available to users anywhere, anytime, through the use of computers, mobile phones, and tablets. For many, the most important aspect of signing up for a cloud service is price. For my review of four of the most popular services, it is important to note that all of them offer free accounts for personal use, but the amount of space given varies and each service has its own pricing plan for increased amounts of storage space. For the purpose of this presentation, and in the interest of IU students, I will only discuss what is offered free of charge. This information is the most current and up-to-date from the different products' websites. The space allotted on each server is expressed in gigabytes. One gigabyte is equal to 1,000 megabytes, which is the equivalent of 1,000 kilobytes. To put it into perspective, a person could easily save over 60,000 eight-page documents with just one gigabyte of space, or between 200 and 300 MP3s on average. Dropbox, the most popular service, offers a free account with two gigabytes of space, with the opportunity to earn more free space by referring friends and family. Google Drive and SugarSync both offer five gigabytes of space, and the most amount of space is available from SkyDrive with 7 gigabytes. If nothing else was considered, the clear choice for space alone is SkyDrive, but as we analyze the features, space may not be the only factor. Other than space, the features of the individual services will make or break the user's relationship with them. The first two services in my review offer document creation and editing online, while the second two are purely storage and sync. First up, Google Drive. Those who have used Google Docs in the past will have some familiarity with Google Drive. Drive has recently replaced Docs as Google stepped into the mainstream of cloud storage services. Google Drive offers features that other services cannot provide because of their framework of Google Docs. The major selling point for Google Docs is the ability to edit and create documents with their online proprietary document editing suite and major file formats can be viewed online from anywhere there is internet access. The files are synced and stored on a local folder on your computer as well as online. Any changes on either end will reflect instantly on any devices that are set up to sync. This of course is enticing for many, but it comes with a catch. Tom Bradley of PC World puts it simply that the average user may have trouble with Google Drive because it requires users to convert their files into the Google Docs format in order to edit them. 
Of course, users can put any files they want on Google Drive, but if not converted, they will open in a read-only state. These files can be accessed for, from computers and opened with the local application, but if opened online, they will not be editable. There are workarounds for this, but for the average user, it is an issue. In my experience, Google Docs is unmatched in editing capabilities online. That said, if the files are meant to be edited on a computer and not online, then the conversion could be a deal breaker. Although there are drawbacks, Google Drive can be thought of as a collaboration service more so than others, allowing simultaneous editing of documents and files, providing they are in the proper format for Google Drive. This collaboration is unsurpassed in my testing, and Google Drive should be strongly considered if this is a necessary feature to you or your business. The most direct competitor to Google Drive, in my opinion, is SkyDrive. SkyDrive is a Microsoft product that offers similar functionality as Google by using its popular Microsoft Office suite online. Microsoft has created an online version of Office consisting of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and their service allows users the ability to edit and create documents online in the cloud. Although Microsoft makes it, it is compatible with certain versions of Mac OS X, as well as mobile devices. SkyDrive, like Google Drive, works as a folder on your computer that stays in constant sync with the cloud servers, reflecting changes instantly on all sync devices. Because of the abilities to edit files online, SkyDrive could be considered a collaboration service in addition to a storage service. Through testing, SkyDrive's capability of editing online with Office is convenient, but I found the Office Online suite to be slow to load and unlike Google Docs, not fluid enough to feel like a desktop application. SkyDrive offers a useful product to those familiar with Microsoft products, but the editing capabilities are useful only as a convenience option and not something to use every day, and the syncing leaves a little bit to be desired. Next, we move to the most popular service, Dropbox. Dropbox was one of the first on the scene, which means it has developed the strongest following. By enabling third parties to develop applications, Dropbox has become the most popular and widely used on all platforms. Dropbox works in a similar way as Google Drive and SkyDrive because it consists of a local folder on your computer that stays in sync with the cloud servers and all of your connected devices. Anything that is put in the folder is instantly pushed to all of the devices as well as shared folders with other users. Unlike Google Drive, Dropbox does not require any sort of conversion in order to be used, but at the same time, it does not offer any sort of editing or production online. Files can be stored and shared, or edited by the standard program on a computer. The mobile apps give the ability to edit a file on a separate application, but not within Dropbox. While this can be seen as a drawback from other services, Drop Dropbox offers something more than others with versioning. Versioning means that when a file is changed, Dropbox keeps a copy of the file from before it was edited. The competitors offer same basic functionality, but only Dropbox keeps unlimited copies of the files for 30 days and a pay option to keep them forever. This means that no matter if a file is deleted or changed, there can always be a backup file that can instantly replace itself across all sync devices. The versioning of Dropbox is far and away the best backup option for edited and deleted files out of all the competitors. Dropbox should be thought of as a purely storage and syncing service, as it is not intended for collaboration like Google Drive and SkyDrive because of the lack of the ability to edit files online in real time. But what it does with storage and syncing, as well as sharing files and folders, it does better than any other product available. The fourth and final product in my review is SugarSync. SugarSync offers similar functionality as Dropbox, but it goes a little bit further. Dropbox and the others work as a folder on your computer that syncs anything put in or taken out of it, while SugarSync allows the user to choose certain folders on their computer to keep in sync at all times. This gives SugarSync the functionality of more of a backup application in a way, but it lacks the ability to edit files online which makes it a direct competitor to Dropbox. The folders stay synced across computers and devices, although through testing I found it to be less reliable than Dropbox. Nevertheless, SugarSync is a strong competitor in cloud services, and the ability to sync multiple folders is an attractive and popular option that the other three do not offer.
It is important to note that there are many skeptics of cloud services. Some influential people, such as Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, believe that cloud storage is a bad idea. He has the opinion that when you move your data to the cloud, you're essentially giving it away to the company who you trust with storage. He said in a CNET article, the more we transfer everything onto the web, onto the cloud, the less we're going to have control over it. Of course, there are measures that can be taken to minimize dangers such as encryption of files and secure passwords. An important thing to remember is that data is always at risk, even if it is stored locally. So it comes down to trust, convenience, and functionality. Big online corporations are always subject to attacks. Such was the case recently with Dropbox. An employee's email and password were stolen from another website and then used to gain access to his Dropbox account in order to send spam to users of Dropbox. While the intrusion has shown no evidence of any sort of hack beyond the spam, Antoine Gonzalez of TechWorld said that Dropbox is beefing up its security by offering two-step authentication by using a temporary code sent to a user's mobile phone. The competitor services have adapted similar means of security in order to combat malicious behavior. For many, it is hard to choose a clear winner as the best option for cloud service. Google Drive's drawback of having to convert files before editing online is important to me. For someone who creates and uses documents online only, Google Drive may be a good fit. Since I am a Mac user, Microsoft SkyDrive lacks a little functionality in the sense that it is not available to users on older versions of the Mac operating system. SugarSync, while offering multiple folder sync, can't compete with Dropbox's third-party availability and superior file versioning capabilities. Having tested extensively all of the discussed services, my choice for a winner is Dropbox. It is in my opinion, after review and experience, that Dropbox provides the best pure storage and sharing capabilities, while providing the most efficient and consistent syncing across devices. The competitors fall short in their ability to detect changes and reflect them instantly on other devices. Dropbox has proven to me that there is a reason it is the leader in cloud storage services, but only time will tell if the competitors overcome their drawbacks and become attractive enough to take my business. Thank you very much. If you're interested in signing up for any of the reviewed services, click the links below and try them for yourself.